get into arrays. So an array can be seen as a fixed size collection of uh, variables or data. Um, so we're going to define a, a, a list or an array. So now we defined an array. Uh, if you run it, it uh, doesn't output anything, except that output is not used. So we can set uh, array values. So in this case we set the first element in the array. It has size of 10, so there are 10 items in the array or collection and we can specify each one, right? So we can do one, two, so zero is actually the first element because computers start counting from zero and then you have one and two and so on. So you can set them to different values or whatever values you want uh, of the data type integer. So you can also have uh, an array consisting of uh, floating point numbers or strings or whatever and we can simply print those um, values right so now we have a uh, one array of scores which has 10 elements and we output those apart from setting it um, and if you have a, a bunch of uh, elements you can output them also using a loop so for example you could have a for loop where you output uh, every element of that list or array. Now I'm going to set a few more. So if you run this it will print the first few. Right? So you could set it to four and it would output four of the elements in that list. And it doesn't have to be um, numbers like I said. So you could have a string where you have certain names um, whatever names you want right so if you run it we have like an ar array of, of names and obviously you would give some useful uh, name to it so na uh, maybe maybe these are students or whatever Right, so now we have an array of strings, 10 elements, and we set only the first five, and we print every uh, one of those set elements. Um, 